I'm hearing something else. Probably one of the little guys. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, can I not? Whoop! Got it. No, come back. I am certainly a danger to others, as I currently am. Which is a lot better. Alright, so I, I'm gonna have to make a torch. I was really hoping I'd be able to make a... Let's see what's sneaking around here. I was really hoping I'd be able to make some kind of light thing to actually put inside. The good thing I crafted the good armor. Cripes, it's amazing. And I can't get up there. Spiders still hurt like hell, though. And we're probably going to want to go kill some ladybugs. But at least we got the mandibles that we're looking for, so hopefully I can go research them and do some other stuff. Whew. Okay, so some of the spiders might be kind of aggro. Bam! Alley Getting out of here. Bringing the light. Makes sense. Ah. Okay. I apologize ah. that everything I'm doing is just fighting in abject darkness. Right. Bandage is keeping me going. Got him. Safety first. So much ant bits. So little inventory space. Alright, I'm pretty sure they're all mad at me because I've got mad pheromones. So what I'm going to do is just beeline for home and go from there. I'm not a fan of fighting in darkness. I'm sure it's an awesome fight. Yeah, I, the problem is this is a two-handed weapon, and I can't uh, I can't pull out the torch. I was really hoping I could put, like, lamps on the ground or something. Truly, I think what it comes down to it is I don't like games that are dark. It's not... It works in a couple of, like, particular horror games, but 90% of the time it's just an inconvenience. And from, like, a filming perspective, it looks so bad. It sucks. Hello, Nat. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit him. Got him. All right, he did. So we've got a bunch of gnat fuzz. Oh, no. Oh, is this the gnat fuzz? Oh. That's mite fuzz. Gotcha. Okay, so I was actually going to very quickly go over here. So, what do we have left on my kill list? I don't think I'm going to get to killing a... Uh... I don't think I'm going to manage to kill a spider on this run. Maybe if I had friends, but as as it stands, Dad will be able to do so soon. So, I guess the Bombardier Beetle, maybe? Okay, so we got rubber. Stuff Soldier Head, Ant, okay. Not really what I was looking for, but I think I can do some things. Okay, well, let's, let's see if we can go make the stun stick. Okay. Oh! Do I not know how to make the ant weapon yet? Oh, ant club. There we go. And there's the larval blade. 
which does poison? Gonna have to go kill some lar larva though. We got plenty of grub hide, so it's just a matter of finding the, the larvas. There's my cooking fire. Okay, so let's cook this up. Hey, just got to block at the right times. Yeah, I don't like perfect blocking in this game, though. It, like, perfect blocking works really well in Ghost of Tsushima, Sekiro, Dark Souls, some other things. I don't feel like it works that great in a first-person game. Maybe it kind of can. I have a torch out with this thing. No. Here. Okay, well, I'm gonna move the spi spiky sprig back over. Oh, I'm gonna drop the spear. I don't need it. Yet. Drop off some mandibles. We've got a lot of clay. But I don't think I really need it yet. Bunch of heads. Alright, inventory is a lot less full. Can I sleep? Is it sleep time? No. 20 minutes. And switch to third person mode. It's still not really the same. Like, it's one of those where it works in Dark Souls and some other stuff because you got dodge rolls, you got parrying, the tells are super obvious and easy to work with. And you're right. You're, I'm sure somebody's going to say this, but like, I'm, Bam. I'm absolutely Abby sure Oops, there the are easy tells and once you get used to it, it's not so bad, but it still just doesn't feel as good as, uh, as Dark Souls. And that's always a bit of a sticking point for me where it's just like, hey, it's a cool mechanic, but it just doesn't quite reach it. And therefore it feels worse. Okay, so. Need to recharge. I'm hungry, and I'm thirsty. I guess let's go double check if Can't I can find food. anything. Can't waste food. Can't waste food. Acorn bits are actually pretty dang good. All right, let's go over here. Is that enough? Perfect. Okay, so I want to go check out this. I want to see if I can find the bombardier beetle. I want to see if I can fight a ladybug. I'm not terribly passionate about exploring everything and everywhere because I don't really need to. Uh, going for the larva might not be a bad idea. But I I get the distinct feeling I'm probably going to run out of things to do soonish, and I'm totally fine with that. I don't really need this game to last forever. Oh, there's another hot dog out here. Do we have tier 2 tools yet? Crevasse. Is the crevasse over here? Let's see, why is everybody streaming this game? Because there haven't been a whole lot of uh, new open world survival games, like ever. Hello, this looks neat. And doesn't look like it's something you can harvest. Balls. But yeah, because there haven't been a whole lot of games in this genre in a while, uh, people are kind of, I'm not going to say desperate to find more, but, you know, they're interested. I just, I like it. It's cool. It's not something I'm going to be playing for terribly long. Like, I, I don't, I legitimately do not believe I'm going to load this game up again. Okay, so this ain't where it is. Where the hell is that crevasse? I thought it was right there. I'm, I'm wondering in circles. Okay, they don't hate my guts right now. Because, yeah, this is a really neat looking game. Really cool concept. Really great visuals. Really not a big fan of the insects, but I understand why they went with them. 
and it works for this game, even if I, some part of me is just like, why? Oh, we never checked out what's inside underneath this thing. Let's go check it out. I'm 90% certain it's a spider. But I got a good club, so we'll find out if it's any good. And if I get wrecked, I get wrecked. I guess I could save. But yeah, I'll probably come back to this either in multiplayer with like the wholesome verse or something. Let's see what's sneaking around here. Turns out you can't get spider silk. There you go. That's how you get a lot more. Okay. Oh, it's a wolf spider. Great. See if that counteracts the poison or if I'm doomed. Ah. I'm doomed. Okay. Well, that didn't work. I did get some spider silk, though, which is kind of nice. Yeah, so me fighting a spider in melee, probably no good. Maybe if I could perfect block every one of their hits, but being on accurate uh, arachnophobia mode, I'm pretty sure that makes it even harder. That poison seems OP. It seems pretty damn good, yeah. Anyways, let's go grab my stuff back. So now we know what's down there. Some research, some other things. Okay, the rest of this is good. Okay, that spider's now out on the warpath. It's gotta be over there somewhere. Okay, well, I see a geodesic dome. So I'll head for that. Maybe see if I can get some some juice up in here. Yeah, I doubt the spider's gonna go for me here. Nope. Alright, whatever. Oh, Weevil Nose. Oh, huh. didn't know that was a thing. I'm sure it's probably for just mounting on the wall. Maybe? We'll see. gas mask. No, that's actually pretty helpful. That might... I doubt it's poison immunity, but if it was, that'd be cool. Basketball hoop. Well, that's... Maybe there's other things you can use spider silk for. Because if that's all... Oh, it's a little bit of a letdown. What the hell is that crevasse? Okay, I see a half a billion larvae come in my direction. I've had worse, I guess. You want to fight them? I... Sure? Oh, do Collector Dean the Spider Silk. That's what it was. Well, I don't see him. So I'm assuming they went back up... Back in there. Can I build... My lamp. Uh, it's this. Yeah, let's just go behold Safety first. what lur lurks in here. I'll keep saving. I'll probably just reload if I die. It ain't worth coming back for my shit. Come on, let me go. Okay. Well, this is certainly effective. And really gross. Alright, there's the last one. I'm gonna have to go down in. Let's 
see what's sneaking around here. Let's see if it's got buddies. It does. They actually seem kind of scared of me. Bam! Alley oh, they all died. The light. Uh. Ow! Except for you. There we go. Okay. Whoa. Safety first. So considerably less dangerous with the acorn with the acorn armor. Now I'm pretty sure, unless I'm mistaken, this were this is the chasm that I was looking for earlier. Nope, gas guard. Not actually what I was looking for. Alright, inventory. I'm gonna pull the hammer out. Where'd my hammer go. There's my hammer. Gonna take a little bit for me to break this, but yeah, it's cool that those guys are cowards around. when they're alone. Okay, so now we're now we're here finally. We've gotten back. This one has hella stuff. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key. I'm just going to save again. To the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Burgle, please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle to raw science. Order received. Raw science. Okay, so let's go back in here. Craft, we want to make a slime mold torch. I need more slime mold stocks. So there's some stuff underwater. We're actually getting pretty dang close to the point where I've just done everything. I'll consume uh, one of those. We'll see if I can research I've had them. Worse, I guess. Why are you complaining about a literal granola bar? Wouldn't that be like pretty cool? I guess not. All right, whatever. I apologize, this is just abject darkness. But I'd also say I think I'm almost done. I could try and fight some spiders, but I think that'd be hell. And honestly, like, we really are coming up to the end of available content in this game. And that's totally cool. Uh, it's definitely Bam. one of those where I'd been... Bringing the light. I'd been hoping for more. More stuff, more content, more something. Uh, let's see. Is there actually anything even down here that's worth anything? Not really, no. Oops. There we go. Have you ever had a granola bar? They're disgusting. I love granola bars. I love granola. It's all good to me. Alright, let's just get out of here. Go see if I can find that bombardier beetle. Ha! Give it what for. Ha! 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 Yeah, granola bars are like my primo snack. I, think I was supposed to research that. Whatever. Let's see what else do I have in my inventory? Uh, I'm just gonna trash this. All right, let's save. We good? We good. Alright. There should be a bombardier beetle defending this entire area avidly. Also a bunch of mites. The mites are no threat. Bombardier beetle has and will probably kill the shit out of me. How this works.
Is it inside the rock? That would explain some things. Yep, there he is. Okay, so. What have we learned? Freaking run. It's not worth it. It's too busted. Alright, let's take a nice safety drink. Head home. That's too bu that, That's too busted. Alright, so. I guess apart from finding a ladybug to murder and research for parts, we're getting pretty close to the end of what I could do. And so, yeah, ladybug. Finding a ladybug, murdering a ladybug. That'd be worth doing. Everything else? I don't know. I'm back later, I guess. And I'm looking forward to when this is done. You know, a couple of years from now. Obsidian's clearly done, like, a decent job with the story. Great job with the visuals. Decent with the world design. And, you know, for a game about endless amounts of bugs, I actually haven't encountered any. I don't think this game's bugged out once. Where that ladybug is? I don't have to, like, spend forever looking for it, though. What about the flying ants or bees? But I mean, after a certain point, they're going to have to give us EDF guns to counteract that, that sort of shenanigans. Which I'd be totally down for. I was hoping I could see it trundling around out here. I've killed a ladybug already, so it's not like I feel terribly bereft. If I can't find one. Also could just be stuck. That can and has happened before. Small amounts of science. Hey, let's just save again. I'm just gonna wander in this direction. I've never been out here. Looks like that's this is an anthill. A real par proper one. Okay, so this is where we find all of our ants in the future. What else have we got around here? Just while I'm looking. Okay, you're right. They were clipped into the rock. So, it seems like the biggest bugs are just kind of weird clipping pathing issues. <gasps> Here's one. Alright. Come here, you! <laughs> Got it. Got the bombardier beetle. Freaking hurt, but now we know how to make the insect axe. Which might be how we chop down the bigger stuff. Hey, I was wondering about that. What is that thing? There's some stuff out there. But yeah, so there are, there absolutely are bugs. Don't don't let me don't let me mischaracterize this. There are bugs, there are issues. But Nothing game-breaking, and nothing that, like, has stopped me from playing so far. Pretty sure that's an orb weaver. I might be able to fight it. I'm gonna leave it alone. So far, the spiders have just been murder. That, I think, is another orb weaver. Oh, it's just a can. My parents never let me have soda. It's not good for you. So that's a good thing. Alright, screw it. Saving? Last thing I'd do. Orb's food! I'ma punch you in the face! Man. Compared to a, uh, compared to the wolf spider, that ain't, that ain't biscuits. That's nothing. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's trash the rock. Mm, can't waste food. Grab some spider chunks. Can't waste food. Mm, can't waste food. Anything else? No. Well, cool. So, now we got that. Still no, still no ladybug. So why is that thing floating? Arachnophobia mode. I 
do not actually do well looking at spiders. Okay, there's there's still a couple of things worth kind of ogling while we're here. I, I keep saying, this will be the last thing I do, and then I see something that's like, maybe I take a quick look at this. I think to some degree, I still wish that they had gone for a different setting, because this is cool, but it doesn't really pique my interest that much. It's mostly just like, yep, it's, uh, honey, I shrunk the kids. It's a lot of bugs. That's really cool. Uh, if they had if they had done this as like a crossover with Outer Worlds, I would have been so happy. But there might be some IP issues, and that's why they can't do that. Because, like, I'd be super down with playing a game where you're surviving on an alien planet filled with alien bugs. You know, take some creative liberties with everything. Hey, thank you, Kira Backwards, for the 14-month resub. Thank you. Okay, I'm seeing something trundling around out here. Hopefully not spider. Hopefully ladybug. Ladybug. All right. They're cute, but it's time to die. It's time to die! Okay. We're gonna pull back for a second. Come on. I'm here. The thing is, these guys are... Never mind. Okay. Wait for my stamina to come back. Got it. Alright, so what else do we get rid of? Oh, we have a whole bunch of acid glands. And spider chunks have the same art. Dang. That's annoying. Uh, let's just trash some of the basic stuff that we're carrying around. Gross. Alright, let's get back home. Now, now that we've killed everything except for the wolf spider in the game, I'm feeling pretty accomplished. And I don't really feel terribly motivated about killing the wolf spider, to be frank. Those things suck and it would probably take a long time to get what I'd... get it down. Probably with arrows, maybe cheese, get it stuck on something. Yeah, Outer Worlds was published by Private Division before Obsidian was bought by Microsoft, so that has something to do with that. I'm sure. I... I just... I know Obsidian is very creative and I really appreciate that, but... I, well, I don't know. I'd like to see more of that in this. I, I had the same problem with Obzu, where it's just like, it's such a lovely game, but I know these are real, and that makes me less e excited about it. Expl explore the anthill? Nah, it's gonna be dark, and I'm just gonna get it, uh, ambushed by a bunch of soldier ants. I could, but I think going into, uh, I probably should have actually, uh, taken a look at that. Well, looks like there's some pretty good gear there. Eventually, but no, I, I think going into caves and like doing a lot of real splunking That's gonna be something I'm gonna leave for later mainly because there's not a whole lot in there And I can't see shit and neither can you guys and I don't want to subject anybody to that I'd rather come back later when everything is well lit and cool looking uh, Or with friends where one person could be the torch bearer with like a spear and then everybody else is on other things So ah insect axe is in fact a uh, fighting weapon I think? No, it is actually a tool. So that's how we cut down the bigger, better stuff. But I gotta go get some more uh, ladybug heads. What else do we got? Ladybug faceplate. Extra bo blocking strength. There's also berry leather. Which we haven't fought, found. That's cool. Oh, it's spider stuff. Oh gosh, you have the eyes on your head. <laughs> I don't like that. So stamina efficiency. Got it. Cool. Alright, well, one way or another, I'm sure I could keep going, but I'm pretty satisfied. Maybe I'll play more if people really want me to, uh, but this is a very, very thin early access. Even though it's a nice, beautiful, and big world to explore, uh, I think I've already seen almost all of it, except for, like, yeah, one expensive material only found in the top left. It's all the way up here-ish, or even further out, probably. And that's fine. 
I just don't want to overplay this because, like I said, early access games can be a little bit of a, a drag. So I will be back to this either on whenever their next major update is or for multiplayer, whichever comes first. But for now, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.